Hi, this is Eric Zombie. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. I am creating a science project, which I'm calling a life globe. It's not really an original idea. These things have been done before. Even when I was a teenager, I used to make these. It is a self-contained ecosystem inside of a glass ball and the only thing that it requires to sustain itself is sunlight, ultraviolet light. Right now, I have, well, I put three guppies into this a week ago. One of the guppies passed away. Luckily, it was one of the females, so I still have one male and one female surviving. The uh, female that's surviving is gravid, which means that she is with babies. Um, guppies are known to give live birth, so we should have some baby guppies here very soon. I have a lamp with a full spectrum fluorescent bulb to keep the plants producing oxygen during the day. Um, I have a nacarus, it's a type of water weed. It grows very voraciously and produces a lot of oxygen. Oh, and you'll see a snail in there too. Put a couple of snails in there to keep the glass clean. Um, so the cycle essentially works like the real world does. We have about two-thirds water or three-quarters water with uh, some oxygen at the top. We have animals, we have plants, we have uh, microorganisms. I, uh, I took samples of river mud from Lake Washington, Lake Union, and some of the other lakes and rivers around here. Took a, a grand tour from uh, just a 15-mile bike ride just driving around one day. Um, so it works like this. The uh, sunlight causes the plants to produce oxygen. The uh, plants break down carbon dioxide into oxygen and then carbon, which they turn into sugar, which helps the plants grow. Um, the dead and dying leaves of the plants is what the fish eat. Also, the fish eat snail eggs. And the uh, snails are more than proficient at uh, laying eggs. I've already seen a couple of egg bunches on the plants. Um, the fish fertilize the plants by defecating, which is broken down by the microorganisms, the protozoans, the uh, bacteria, and I was I tried to get um, some other uh, like water insects. I couldn't identify them. I tried looking online to figure out exactly what they were and what they did, but. I'm just hoping that they help with the decomposition process. Also, when the fish die, they also are supposed to be broken down by the bacteria and uh, help feed the plants. Everything in here is self-contained. The only thing that's necessary is the ultraviolet light. Besides that, the uh, fish keep the plants alive, the plants keep the fish alive, and everything is just delicately balanced. When I was experimenting these uh, in my teenage years, I built a few, and while I was adjusting the levels, trying to figure out exactly how many plants, how many inches of plant, what types of plants, what types of bacteria, uh, what types of fish, I, I settled on guppies because they're live bearing and they can handle uh, temperature fluctuations and, and low oxygen content in the water. And I picked the plants because they produce a lot of oxygen and uh, grow relatively quickly. Um, but I found that if any of the levels are too far off, like if there's not enough water or if there's too much water or if it's the wrong kind of plant or too many plants, because I believe the plants uh, also absorb some oxygen at nighttime so that can end up suffocating the fish. Uh, if any of the levels are off though, the entire system uh, collapses and the uh, the system will die. So, just a little uh, a little test of, of theory here. Um, I've had this going for a week now without being exposed to the outside, and these fish, these two remaining fish, still seem to be doing fine. I had another female that had a uh, red and yellow, uh, red or no, yellow and black tail. That one passed away. I think you can see her if you look closely in the bottom. <clears throat> but um, these other two seem to be doing quite healthy.
and uh, hopefully they'll do well. All right. Um, I will keep you updated 